Go! Hey everyone, I'm Danelle and I'm one of the interns at Ginny Boy TV. Hi everyone, I'm Chris Payne. Yes, Chris Payne is my real name, C-R-I-S-P-A-Y-N-E. And also, I handle post-production at Ginny Boy TV. So I'm not sure what to say, but I have been at Ginny Boy TV for about half a year. Of course, you haven't seen me in videos because I'm not an actor, man. I don't have a lot of cooking experience, although I used to bake when I was a teenager. I guess I just don't have the time or more like I have other hobbies I want to venture into. And also, um, I'm cooking kimchi fried rice. Yes. The dish that I'm going to be cooking for this challenge is kimchi fried rice. And I haven't been going out, so I haven't been shaving. Uh, but that's not important, let's go! Now, I've never done this before, however, I definitely know what it tastes like. It's one of my favourite dishes to order at Kyochun. Um, of course, before we start, the most important thing is to wash your hands. My opponent for this challenge is CP, Chris, Chris Payne. I mean, like, I call him three different names in the same sentence sometimes. Do I think that he's gonna beat me at this challenge? Well, for the fact that he has done this before, it gives him an advantage. But I have a secret ingredient. I know I will definitely win this challenge. So, enough talking, let's get cooking. Alright, so let's begin. So first things first, I've already washed the rice and I'm gonna pop it in the cooker and just let it cook, yeah? Bloop, bloop. So to go through the basic ingredients, we got the kimchi, we got the leftover rice, we got a bacon chips, we got a mozzarella cheese, we got spring onions, and we got garlic. Uh, some of y'all might be wondering where I get this kimchi from. This kimchi is from Village Grocer. It's a Jongga brand. It's made in Korea. So I'm not sure, I haven't tried it before. And we'll just, we'll just see what happens. Now, we're gonna... Oh, whoops. Uh, let's not use that. Okay, round two. So I'm gonna just take one clove of garlic and peel off the skin. And now, we've got a naked garlic. Beautiful. So, one clove of garlic. Voila! Magically chopped. And we're only gonna use one teaspoon of garlic. We have pan. Okay, I know how to cook. Okay, first of all, you want to turn the fire to a low heat. And then you throw in some oil. So you go around like that. Just a bit more. Spread the oil evenly. It's quite hard to cook while taking video, so let's get it, man. Next, we have enoki mushrooms. Then we're gonna cut. Oh wait, we need to wash it first. Remove all the potential coronavirus. Now that it is clean, we will cut the root of the mushroom. Now we will throw the root away. Now we have the mushroom. Okay, next you throw in the garlic. Not that much garlic. Uh, let me get a spoon. Okay, like at least a spoon of garlic. Yes. Throw it in there. Maybe another spoon because that's a lot of rice, man. Okay, man, we just stir fry the garlic just a little bit until it's like a bit brownish. Here's the best part the kimchi. Pour one cup of kimchi and set it aside. Okay, it's not coming out. Okay, kimchi ready. I know I miss kimchi so much, so hey, I'm just gonna take a bite and maybe a break. Hehe. <laughs> Not this knife, this knife, okay this, wait, nope, not this knife, uh, sure, this knife. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the cheese. Now we need some kimchi juice, but since I don't have enough in the first jar, at least I got another one. But I can't seem to get this jar open, this is embarrassing. Now that we have the jar open, the next step is that we need to squeeze out at least one quarter of kimchi juice out. Alright, now that it's nice and brown, I'm gonna throw in the bacon chips. So I'm just gonna take that bunch. Oh look, the rice is done cooking. Prepare the pan. Pour a tablespoon of cooking oil into the pan or wok or pot or whatever you want to call it, okay? Now oil the pan up and turn up the heat. Whoop whoop! Then I throw in the kimchi. Then we add the rice. And then we add in soy sauce. Now the instruction says we cannot cook it on high fire, so we're just gonna bring it lower to a medium-sized heat. 
Now throw in our first item, the garlic, into the pan and just cook it till it's all good and brown. We season it with a little bit of salt, man. It's the salt. Oh, that's the salt. Soy sauce. During the Indiki mushrooms, I mix it real good with the garlic until it becomes soft, like when you <clears throat> turn them off on Valentine's Day or something. Okay, sorry, you didn't get my joke. Last but not least, adding the cheese. Maybe you could use more cheese. Anyways, take the cooked rice and toss it into the pan with the kimchi and mix, 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 mix. Maybe I put a bit too much cheese. It's all starting to stick together. But hey man, failure is normal. Yeah? As long as you learn from it. But yeah, I'm almost done with this. Pour in the sesame oil and season it as how you see fit. Oops, a bit too much. It's kimchi, it's fried rice. Pour in the kimchi juice into your mix and stir stir everything until you see it looks cooked. Then set it aside. Oops, I almost forgot the spring onions. It's a very good uh, finishing touches, you know? So just gonna sprinkle. Okay, remember I said I had a secret ingredient? Yeah, that secret is a chicken egg. Crack your chicken egg inside a new pan and let it sizzle till you know it's cooked. Taste test my own creation. I'm gonna get in some of the bacon, get some of the kimchi in. It smells good. Damn, I think I really outdid myself. This is really damn good. You get all three of the ingredients, flavors combo with each other the bacon, the cheese, and the kimchi. It's all, it just blends really well together. Self praise is no praise, but goddamn, this is good. Ta-da! I prepared the kimchi fried rice and top it off with the fried egg. I hope I win this challenge even though I don't have a lot of experience, but thanks for watching! Also, I'm pretty damn sure I won this one. Sorry, Danielle. Woof! Wow, okay, it smells like kimchi in the house. Today is kimchi fried rice. On the right is actually from our intern Danielle, and on our left is from Chris Payne. That's right, that's his name. Chris Payne. That's his actual name. Chris Payne. That's right. I hope I don't get a lot of pain eating your kimchi fried rice today. That's right. So, um, I don't think there's much to talk about presentation because you know, fried rice is fried rice, and fried rice is fried rice. I mean like, I like uh, the extra addition of an egg over here. Normally Korean food, right, they will actually add an egg over there so you mix it with the rice and you eat it. This one uh, is a little bit of an overachiever because we told everyone to basically send their food in by 5pm. Our good friend Chris Payne over here decided to send his over at 9 in the morning. Alright, we're gonna go with Danielle. And uh, I'm kind of nervous eating this actually. Alright. Oh, there's the kimchi. At first I was eating it, only tasted like rice. I didn't taste the kimchi at all. It tastes a little bit of the kimchi. There, there's, there's the kimchi, right there. The rest is like, I think she put in like those long mushrooms. What are they called, huh? Is it called long, what's it called here? Yeah? Golden mushrooms, I think. Okay, it's a little bit bland. Um, <laughs> um, in Chinese, they would say, Okay, now we move on to Chris's dish. Um, this one smells a lot stronger. So, that's right. Apparently the grab driver lost his way a few times because of the smell. <laughs> yeah. So, let's try this. Ooh, this one is a lot more stickier. Oh my gosh, it's so sticky, my goodness. All right, never mind. I'm not sure whether you cook this with egg. Maybe you put the egg in here and then you fry everything. That's why it's so starchy. I'm not sure, but... First one. Oh, there's bacon. This one, right, the rice tastes a little bit different. It tastes like it's like those pulut rice, uh, those, those uh, you know, those pak chang rice? Like that, it tastes like this. I taste a bit of the kimchi. Overall, not bad. Okay, it's time for the results. Um, over here we have Danielle, and over here we have Chris Payne. Um, I like to commend the both of them because it does look like kimchi fried rice, okay? But there's only one winner, and this round is gonna go to Chris Payne. Um, only because your kimchi fried rice is more flavorful. Um, Danielle, you have a lot of ingredients in there, but I think it's, it's lacking that, that kimchi taste. It tastes like rice. 
and it's it, I taste a little bit of kimchi in it, but the kimchi taste is a lot more stronger on Chris Payne's um, dish. So congratulations, Chris Payne. You still shouldn't leave your day job, lah. Huh? You should continue doing your day job and not go into the F&B business. But actually, you know what? This one is what I would eat if I'm home alone and I have nothing else to eat. Thank you so much for watching guys and a big shout out to Danelle and also Chris Payne for cooking these two dishes for me. Make sure you check out our previous episodes and we'll see you guys in the next one.